Good afternoon, Miss Minerva. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Miss Minerva, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Minerva Torre Palma. I'm 36 years old. Uh, I live in Bagumbayan, uh, Pilar Bataan. They, they have five children. I'm high school graduate. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Because to my children, they, I, I to, to give them better future. Okay, why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because Malaysia is a beautiful country. How are you qualified for this job? I'm honest and hardworking person. May I know what is your education level is? High school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent experience? Um, laundry, ma'am. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby you are taking care of before? My own. My own child, ma'am. Okay, your own children. What about taking care of elder? Do you have experience? Yes, ma'am. And whose elder you are taking care of before? My grandmother, ma'am. How old is your grandmother when you take care of her? Um, Arkadja Ar Ar Digusman. Mm -hmm. So how old is she when you take care? Uh, 70, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. So, may I know the special skills that you have? Cleaning the house, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Yes, ma'am. So you are still working now, uh, Miss Minerva? No, ma'am. Okay. Let me clarify. So do you know how to cook, Miss Minerva? Yes, ma'am. So what sort of food can you cook? Um, minudo, adobo, sinigang, pakbet. So all these are uh, Filipino dishes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores or uh, household work such as uh, washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Cleaning house, ma'am. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My parents, ma'am. I'm sorry? Who will take care of who will take care of your kids? My parents. Your parents, okay. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the work and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're uh, abusing or using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? I'm honest, ma'am. I'm a hardworking person. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I assure that finish my contract because to my to to support my needs family. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. 
Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Uh, Miss Minerva, can you can you understand the question that I'm asked? Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Minerva, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till you finish your contract or you will go back? I finish my contract, ma'am. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Because man to my children to to be, to give them better future. Okay, Miss Minerva, what do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Madam, please please choose this. Please choose me because. I, I need, I, I need this job for my family. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Minerva. We will update to your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Thank you, ma'am. Okay.